Aside from the sus animation of the huge horse and Seras, hmm, we are in uh, we're in trouble, right? The monsters are all coming at us. And Tuka, he does have the environment to his advantage. Maybe I'm interpreting this wrong, but if there's so many people, and obviously he can't just paralyze everybody, he does he does still have the narrow passage right behind him. And by doing that. You know, the amount of people that's going to come in at once is going to be much, you know, much more maintainable than an entire horde in an open field. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to handle this. Maybe the Witch of Taboos is going to show up in clutch. There's also the other students that's in the forest with us, and I think that we're going to reunite very soon. Let's begin today's reaction. A siren call. Everyone's coming. What should we do, Toka? Eve, stand down. No, 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 no. You're not sacrificing yourself. No, no, no. Nope. 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 <laughs> is he baiting us? <laughs> I thought he, I thought he'd step in and be like, it's alright, Eve. I got a plan and everything is good. But he's like, Eve, you want to be a sacrifice? I bet. Thank you. One condition. That you'll survive. No, these are death flags, bro. People say that shit all the time. Stop it. I didn't get baited. I asked a question. Is he baiting me right now? I was ready for it. Usually, I just fucking eat it up and I'm like, oh, he got me good. No, no, this time I was cautious. I was cautious. I sniffed that bait out. Oh my god, yo. Are we skipping the opening today? Yeah. Usually, you know, the opening should happen now. And what does it mean if then opening isn't playing, right? Today's episode is going to be just fucking crazy, right? I don't know. Hold up. To the limits and beyond is today's episode. That sounds insane. <laughs>普段は気配を察知するのは難しかった。だとしても、あなたのはずです。状態上スキルをすぐ放つべきだった。いや、it's いや、正しくは俺、ピギマル、スレイ。この組み合わせが全員、そして現状、人面主に対して確実な父だめじを与えられるのは責任感は大事だが、責任の所在自体はこの戦団を預かる俺が決める。それが俺の命令だ。すま
Oh, thank God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now there's two girls. Oh, no. There's two victims now. Oh, no. These monsters are creepy as fuck. Are you serious? Yeah, she should have let her die. Yeah, these, these girls are all trash, bro. Oh, my God. And this is the girl that, like, kind of is in love with Tuka as well, right? Because it's like the one time where he saved the cat in the street. I forget the exact flashback, but she was part of a group where they're all just mean girls. <laughs> That's a crazy camera angle. That, 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 that. <laughs> they, 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 the camera work right now is insane. I, I have never seen this kind of camera work before. What the f And this is the thigh gap right now we're seeing. <laughs> Tuka. Oh, nice. There's a cave. Sick. The horse, mana. Aw, yeah. CGI, baby. How big? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty fucking huge. That's it's kind of funny looking because it's all CGI. But the scale of this horse right now, this is insane. Dude, all black dripped out. Voice change. It's a signal. It's a signal. We're just gonna be running with them? Man, it's... <laughs> I just love, like, the... I don't know, like, it's like the, 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 the fucking shrubs on the sides, you know, it just looks... It looks pretty realistic, I guess, but then you got the CGI. <laughs> I mean, it's failure frame, right? What did you expect? But it's interesting. It's, we got so lucky. Because, like, if Slay did not hatch last episode as we got here, bro, we would have been fucking cooked. There's no other solution, right? Ooh. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> Okay, special mode time. <laughs> this sequence is crazy. Like starting from here until the monster, it's, uh, it's bonkers. Oh! The, the, the trees falling does look pretty cool though. No, no, seriously, unironically, the trees falling does look kind of cool. Like, right at the camera, boom, monster. <laughs> Yo. What the mouth do? Is Zoid looking, is Bionicle looking ass? Like, what the mouth do though? What you doing there, bro? What that suction cup for? Yo, how are these legs actually working? Because he has like eight legs or something, right? You... The hind legs are literally a wheel. Right? Because as it comes down, it's a literal wheel. I just realized. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. That's cool. Look at that, dude. It's just rotating. All right, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, NPC 1! NPC 2! Oh, no! I, I, I don't even know them. Do you know them? Yeah, shut the fuck up. You don't know them. They probably didn't even exist in episode one. I bet your ass if you go back to episode one, maybe I'm wrong, but it'd be funny if they never existed and they're just retconning in these random fucking designs. Skill issue. Skill issue. Oh, shit, it's the school shooter. Did he do this? Oh, oh why, why would I? I gotta save my energy. 
そうだが、自分のグループのクラスメイトを守る義務があるとは思わないの。Well, skill, <laughs> It's your fault. Rely on yourselves. <laughs> what is your problem? What the? This guy is insane. He just started fucking just. What the hell? We're just like, hey, you should have taken care of them. You should have given them bread. Yeah, you make it. I mean, you're basically self reporting, right? I don't know. It's always funny when people say shit like this because if you felt superior, then you wouldn't feel this way. So you instinctively know deep inside that what you did was wrong, and now the guilt has crept up as Ayaka confronts you about it. So you're just self reporting yourself right now. I don't think she does. I think that she's weighing in on the objective facts right now, and you're getting fucking triggered because you've always been bullied because you're literally fucking class shooter material, and this is all you projecting yourself onto her. The voice acting is popping up. <laughs> I love how I'm strong. These dudes whack. I'm good. <laughs> okay, now this is getting spicy. I think that again, everything he's dealing with is because of his fucking complex he has from, you know, being bullied over and over again. But now, <laughs> what did Hiroko and Sakuma do? They deserve to die? What do they do, bro? I'm down to hear the gossip. Yeah? What they do? Dog on him. Dog on him. Oh! They talk shit immediately when Toka left. You know what? I'm kind of with him right now. Yeah, they fucking suck. Immediately when we got deported to the dungeon, those two idiots made fun of us. Yeah, fuck it. Deserved. <laughs> Now with this knowledge, I'm on your side, but you're still fucking self-reporting and you're projecting your insecurities now. Kirihara showing up. <laughs> the measure of a man. Uh, the bigger your hands, the bigger the... <laughs> Okay. He's talking big, bro. I am not following, but basically, you have innate talent, right? That you're born with, and you can know, you can never change. And after that, then you can like supplement it. But like, he, he has been power tripping. Kirihara is just on another level of ego trip recently. Zako. Yo, I think something really fun could happen between these two, man. Oh, because I was kind of worried that the school shooter kid was also going to join Kiriata's side, but it seems like they're kind of bantering, right? He has all the reasons to go after Kiriata now, so okay, keep doing your thing. <laughs> Social hierarchy. <laughs> Damn. I feel like what he just said here. <laughs> Holding power beyond your lowly station, right? Holding power beyond your lowly station. Will have you disgracing yourself before you know. I feel like that's exactly gonna happen to him. Like 100%. He is kind of like falling from grace, or at least the grace that I saw in episode one just for a little bit. And then he just started going on an ego trip. So I feel like what he just said will literally define him in his downfall. What's his power? 
I mean, are you are you seriously asking me why he's snapping at? Huh? No. Why are you blowing your lid and snapping on it? Did you not just watch the last fucking five minutes of the anime, bro? Holy shit, you're stupid. <laughs> I am not Zako! I can prove that just because you're S class doesn't mean you're above me. But up until now, you literally went on your argument of you should know your place based on your class. You're below me. These two are below me, A class. Therefore, I fuck them. But now you're going the exact opposite and folding and using this convenient example as to Oh, it doesn't matter if you're as classy, Ayaka's fucking fraudulent. <laughs> this seems kind of important. Asagi, is that Asagi girl, the girl um, that has a crush on Toka? She learned a unique skill that surpasses at A class, even though she's a B class girl has a skill that surpasses. So. It's not the cat girl that loves Tuka? Okay, so that's kind of interesting though, huh? Asagi, let's keep in mind of that. As Asagi is the girl that recruited her? Aw, oh, shit. Asagi's the bully then. Alright, all right, we're cooked. The bully has a pretty OP skill despite being a B class. Bro, you need to be consistent with your logic. You just fucking went 180. You just threw away your entire core arguments to Ayaka. And now you're just doing this because it's convenient for you against Kirihara. <laughs> How strong is he? Huh? Oh, provoked. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that was kind of interesting. You got the last word. Why is her skill not awakening? That's interesting. Why did they keep doing this? He always talks in third person too. Waga <laughs> Kirihara. And then, the, and then the fucking fonts, right? The golden font, they did the second time I've seen this shit! Nibui bakadomo. Aye, Kirihara. Just random power tripping scenes. I love it though. These, these scenes are so fucking funny to me. Like, <laughs> just, just <laughs> Now, Tuka kind of had a scene where the caption showed up when he was like, Oh, then. It was the episode where he was like, uh, fucking up the granny that like uh, abused our little dark elf girl and then took a bit on the mask and he was like then I'll be the villain or some shit and it was like the lord of hell I forgot the exact thing and then the captions happened but I think that the class system here is fucking bullshit sure you're S class and on average maybe S class are stronger S class skills may be stronger but Ayaka I mean, sorry, the, the cl class shooter guy he could be super strong and not only that Toka we have an example with Toka like Toka's He's like the worst rank. Yet, I'm pretty sure he's stronger than everyone else here right now. Hold on a second. Pull 58. Hold on a second. Where's, where's that scene? Where, 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 I... Not this scene. It was it. It is her! This bitch! Bro! Okay, if a random girl said. If a random girl said, oh, I don't know where your little pigeon is. I. Okay. But you threw her as bait, then you ran away. What do you. <laughs> just. Everyone just. She sucks so much, bro. Oh my, I thought it was like a random girl saying that, but it's like, you know exactly what happened, bro. You know exactly. Uh-oh. Better go save her. Eve, why? Eve, chill. Eve, chill. 
ナピーケンデシャマグンタイリシトソラクダガテキテキニワレラスリープをかけていたと思われるこのマグンタイでトーカドノはマグンタイリシタコロカゴジブンスイミンジカンゴケズティタジジツワカレルマイワレガトーカニクイサガタノアキョセデワナエイディスティオープニングバケトワイタアカリデマモノニーチョシラセルシンパイモナリミミモヨシナリマセンそしてトーカやスレイが重い傷を負っていた場合、わけにはいかん男だ。Could she carry Slay? But I guess Slay would transform smaller. うん。トーカドノが不在の今、仲間の安全について判断するのは必要な真似をしてすみませんでした。Okay, Vice Captain. そなたは本当にあの男を好いている。Devoted. Aphrodisiac ready to go. くんかくんか。よく聞くのだぞ。トーカ様をお願いします。Okay. Oh, wait, what? Yo, th these, these, these are picky models, right? He is berserk, and then suddenly? Are, are these the monsters fighting amongst themselves, or are these picky model slimes? Yeah, I think. <laughs> okay, okay, this scene is just fucking dog shit. What? Okay, what the hell is this scene, bro? <laughs> Dude, like, don't even show that. Like, why would you show that? Like, you really thought that was a good idea to show the audience that? They're gonna use this to fucking make fun of you, like me right now. Why would you show this? <laughs> ストンピード。ピギバル、スレイ。まだ生きるか。ミャオメはスタートコロデセントルドウェイキャスト。ライオンの経験値を。そいつらを殺し続けるレベルアップし続ければ。スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ。いや、スレイ
no one needs to hold this thing for fucking three seconds. What the hell is this? Poison! He loves Berserk. Again? Ah, uh, shit, what's what we use Oh no! Oh no, Tuka! Uh -oh. Looking pretty bad. Eve should probably show up now, right? I mean, if Eve is gonna show up in clutch, now is the time, unless Tuka got something else covered. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. I'm just asking you to put a little bit of effort just a little bit come on you can't give me a powerpoint a literal powerpoint presentation during the fight six separate powerpoints oh shit he actually soloed i thought that he would clutch she survived though what the hell don't give up, little birdie. I don't know how she's still alive. Oh, Eve. <laughs> this looks fucking terrifying, Eve. <laughs> but I guess this pretty much hints that like her sword is bloodied. She did defeat the monster herself. That's really impressive. Look, she stabbed it, I guess. Lightning <laughs> shifter. What's going on? What's going on? Eve! Eve! Lightning shifter. Sisters? Sonata! Unlock two. Unknown Sadakis and Suki and Sister. Kedo. Atas no Rai get Karawa mo nigerana. Anekino eats get it. Kashima Yarasiruaki no ikanenda. Okay. I mean, I love the sisters, but right now, and they're trying to protect her, but fuck. But, but, but Eve, bro, but Eve! Marina! Aneki no Itskete. Kashima o yarasiru wake ni wa ikane. Oh, they're gonna kill! Kono mono tachi wa... Touka kara kiita ita. Kongen naru jaku o tao sube ku. Megami ni shou. Cliffhanger. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is today's episode and... Ugh! What the fuck was... I think, like, and, and they can't do fights because of the shitty CGI, but on top of that, the nature of the source material being like a running, like, the stampede definitely did not work in their favor. You know what I mean? Like, they're already pretty scuffed in their fights due to their jarring CGI, but like, on, on top of that, you have like a whole stampede where it's like a fucking race and everyone's following, right? And the sheer amount of monsters to adapt, like, I for sure understand the limitations that they have with their talent and resources, but on top of that, material that is hard to adapt. But hey, it was still enjoyable, and at least it's still moving fluid, unless when, you know, when they do fucking <laughs> PowerPoint presentation. I don't think this is any better than Tower of God Season 2, but they're pretty much just in the same fucking category of just mid-animation, if you can't even call it animation. But what is happening right now? The stampede is upon us, and Tuka took it upon himself to kind of like, bait himself, and run with Slay and gather the monsters and do like a run and hit, like a hit and run, run and gun style. And everything was pretty much working out. And even now, I, he is just fucking soloing and everything is really does working out. Eve going out to save Tuka. So many dead flags, right? There was so many dead flags for Eve. And for her to die for the sisters, I don't know, man. The sisters technique is really cool though. It's like lightning base, and there's like stage one, stage two, is there a stage three? I love skills like that. And is Eve gonna die? I hope not. I think we're, I hope that we're getting baited and we're gonna have a happy ending, and you know they can like sisters and her can like come join us or something. 
There's some more interesting characterization of the school shooter in Kirihara. I mean, we know that Kirihara has been just power tripping from the beginning, but even more scenes to kind of display that. And the school shooter has no fucking morals, no principles. Of course he wouldn't. But it's just interesting how his entire basis of the argument being, you know, survival of the fittest, I'm a higher rank than you, of course, you know, I don't have to do that shit, like, fuck you. And then later, oh, what, just because you're a higher rank than me, you think you're good? Uh, look, look at Sugo, you know, Ako doesn't have her skill yet, so fuck you. So it kind of shows how he is just a morally corrupt person that has no principles, that is willing to just... Uh, choose whatever is convenient for him to move forward. But I think that Kiriata and him can both rot in hell together. Maybe both, I don't know, something funny will happen where they start fighting or something. And then there's Sugo too. Her skill has not shown up. Don't know why. They must be holding it for something. Something insane is gonna happen. She's gonna have maybe an ultimate skill of like healing. It seems like her entire role is like kind of priest-like, so... We'll be waiting for that, and I am honestly way more excited when the perspective changes to the other parties. Cause like, yeah, the Toka stuff, it is fun when Toka is just fucking badass, but I enjoy the humans, not the human side. That's that's kind of me leaking out my Kumo Deska bias where I did enjoy the human side more than Kumo scenes because I care about the impact of what Kumo did in the past and how the different humans are now you know, how, what their perspective is. It, it is pretty fascinating to see the different hierarchies, how different people have allied and there's tension building up and hinting at future outcomes. But that's it for me, man. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.